Hey guys, so it's that time again. I'm going to make a luscious cocktail. I don't have a name for this one, but <laughs> it takes a little bit more work than the others that I've made. So yeah, let's get started. So the rum I'm using is the Bacardi Mango Fusion, but you can use whatever rum you have on hand. And everything's cold. Make sure your juice, your ice, everything's super cold. Now we're just gonna work on the first layer of the cocktail. I'm going to pour my vodka down in here. You can pour as much or as little as you want. Some honey. My honey bear will work. And my super, super cold, slightly frozen juice. Remember to always put liquids in your blender before your ice. Let's fill it up. I'm not gonna bore y'all with putting all this ice in here, but well, I may as well. And some lemon juice. And that's it for the first layer. I'm gonna blend this up and show you what I do next. As you can see, my glass is nice and frozen. I'm gonna pour my cocktail down in here. Yes, I still have pieces of ice, but that's okay. Uh, yeah about there halfway and then you're going to put this right back in the freezer and let it continue to get more solid and then now we're going to work on level number two all right now we're going to work on <laughs> level number two i have my frozen strawberries and my watermelon everything's frozen everything needs to be nice and cold now i'm just going to put the liquor first don't judge me please don't judge me and um <laughs> my strawberries I'm, i don't think i'm gonna use juice on this um in this one because it's enough fruit to cut that so but if you're not a drinker you can add some cherry juice strawberry juice anything like that that's like a bright red or a purple i mean not purple pink <laughs> that'll work Okay, everything's nice and cold. Now I'm gonna pour the strawberry watermelon part on top, all the way to the top, until you can't go no more. Just like that. Then you're gonna put it back in the freezer for a few minutes, and then that's pretty much it. Look at the colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is what my cocktail looks like. You can see the colors. Everything's frozen. And on top, all I added was some decorative red sugar. Um, you can find that in any supermarket in the bacon aisle. I figured it would be really, really pretty on top of my cocktail, so I used it. Of course, it's optional. You don't have to do it. But it brings some more fun to your cocktail. So if you give this, this recipe a try, tag me and let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Okay, guys. Bye.